Primase is an RNA polymerase that synthesizes the short RNA primers needed to start the strand replication process. DNA polymerase is a hand-shaped enzyme that strings nucleotides together to form a DNA strand. The sliding clamp is an accessory protein that helps hold the DNA polymerase onto the DNA strand during replication. RNase H removes the RNA primers that previously began the DNA strand synthesis. DNA ligase links short stretches of DNA together to create one long, continuous DNA strand. Let's look at the steps of DNA replication in more detail. To begin the process of DNA replication, the two double helix strands are unwound and separated from each other by the helicase enzyme. The point where the DNA is separated into single strands and where new DNA will be synthesized is known as the replication fork. Single strand binding proteins, or SSBs, quickly coat the newly exposed single strands. SSBs maintain the separated strands during DNA replication. Without the SSBs, the complementary DNA strands could easily snap back together. SSBs bind loosely to the DNA and are displaced when the polymerase enzymes begin synthesizing the new DNA strands. When they are separated, the two single DNA strands can act as templates for the production of two new complementary DNA strands. Remember that the double helix consists of two anti-parallel DNA strands with complementary 5' to 3' strands running in opposite directions. Polymerase enzymes can synthesize nucleic acid strands only in the 5' to 3' direction, hooking the 5' phosphate group of an incoming nucleotide onto the 3' hydroxyl group at the end of the growing nucleic acid chain. Because the chain grows by extension off the 3' hydroxyl group, Strand synthesis is said to proceed in a 5' to 3' direction. Even when the strands are separated, however, DNA polymerase cannot simply begin copying the DNA. DNA polymerase can only extend a nucleic acid chain, but cannot start one from scratch. To give the DNA polymerase a place to start, an RNA polymerase called primase first copies a short stretch of the DNA strand. This creates a complementary RNA segment up to 60 nucleotides long that is called a primer. Now DNA polymerase can copy the DNA strand. The DNA polymerase starts at the 3' end of the RNA primer and, using the original DNA strand as a guide, begins to synthesize a new complementary DNA strand. Two polymerase enzymes are required, one for each parental DNA strand. Due to the anti-parallel nature of the DNA strands, however, the polymerase enzymes on the two strands start to move in opposite directions. One polymerase can remain on its DNA template and copy the DNA in one continuous strand. However, the other polymerase can only copy a short stretch of DNA before it runs into the primer of the previously sequenced fragment. It is therefore forced to repeatedly release the DNA strand and slide further upstream to begin extension from another RNA primer. The sliding clamp helps hold this DNA polymerase onto the DNA as the DNA moves through the replication machinery. The sliding clamp makes the polymerase processive. The continuously synthesized strand is known as the leading strand, while the strand that is synthesized in short pieces is known as the lagging strand. The short stretches of DNA that make up the lagging strand are known as Okazaki fragments.